Is this crazy just to put this all over my lid? Hope not, because it's happening. Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are having a lovely, wonderful, fantastic day. Taylor, where do you think you're going? This little gremlin down here decided it would be a good idea to eat a paper towel out of the trash can. So he is on like extra watch today. Not that he isn't always. I'm super excited for today's video because we have the P. Louise budget box, which is one of my favorite boxes to do. And I've heard through the grapevine that there should be some spooky season stuff in here, which I'm really excited about. I feel like it typically is a month behind though. So I don't really know how they got spooky season stuff out in October when standardly the box runs a month behind, or at least that's, I've also heard that too. I don't even know if that's true. So let's go ahead and get on into here and see what we got. I am really hoping it's Halloween themed. We get some like cute packaging. That would be so much fun. Why even put a pull tab if it's not gonna be able to pull? But I most useless pull tab I've ever seen. <laughs> I am kind of thinking if we do have some fun Halloween colors in here. When I think of Halloween, I think of like orange, purple, black. I feel like everybody thinks that. So if we do have that color scheme in here, especially the purple, even though purple is not my favorite, but if we have the purple in here, me and my husband are going as Kronk and Yzma for Halloween. So maybe if I do get something purple toned in here, a purple tone palette, something like that, I can see if I can do like an Yzma look to like prepare for my Halloween costume. I mean, I know Yzma is about as big as round as like half my pinky, but um, <laughs> <laughs> I feel like I could carve out some like purpley dark like cheekbones and like collarbones and stuff. Oh, maybe it actually is. I got one little peek inside of here and I was like, none of this looks exactly like a spooky season, but I'm seeing something here through the bubble wrap, which is very exciting. So let's go ahead and start off here with these items and uh, we'll, we'll see what kind of look we can create. Even if I can't do a test room for Halloween, that's fine. We're still, we're putting something on this face. That's, that's for darn sure. I'm gonna go for this first because this seems like the most boring thing that we got in here because I feel like we've received this at least once or twice and definitely a couple things on this line. This is the P. Louine, P. Louine Skin Bad Behind <laughs> Babes Crew Repair Foam 2022. So there's like a whole line of stuff where they're like recovering from 2022, repairing everything from 2022. This says I'm healing, I'm rediscovering myself and I'm starting over. This is a repair lotion. I definitely feel like we've received like a cleansing foam from this same kind of like collection and a couple other things like the repairing recovering from 2022 line which I honestly don't remember 2022 being that bad but do I honestly remember most 2022 do I remember most of yesterday 2020 was the real was that was the kicker oh I definitely read that wrong it says repair from 2022 not repair foam I was wondering how it was a foam and a lotion at the same time like foam and lotion that's different you having a hard time buddy need a little help it honestly doesn't give a lot of information as to what it's like supposed to do for your skin or honestly even where to put it. it does say for external use only. guess that's the most directions we're gonna get. Alright, so next up here we do have something that is different, so I'm excited about that. But when I first opened it up, I was like, oh man, that this doesn't look Halloween-y at all. This looks like summertime with like the watermelons and stuff. But I guess I get where they're going with it, like making this kind of like a spooky season themed thing. Because this is a love potion, so it's shaped like a little potion bottle. That's kind of cute. We got some skulls and crossbones down there and some hearts at the bottom. Contents may be addictive. <laughs> watermelon is my favorite fruit though, so I'm excited about that. And I love things that are flavored watermelon and scented watermelon. So that's nice. Oh, cute. Okay, so it looks like we have a little lip duo in here. That's fun. I definitely thought this was going to be some type of skin serum or something, but I'm glad we're seeing something that I can actually put on my face. Well, you can put skin serum on your face too, but I don't know if you're going to be able to like see it. The packaging of both of these items are really, really cute. They both say balmy for you. And I just think they're really adorable looking with that like light green and the pink with the watermelons. Again, maybe not necessarily like as spooky themed, Halloween season themed as I was hoping for. I was hoping for some really like cool kind of Halloween themed more like yeah, the spooky spooky stuff This is just precious. This is adorable. Little watermelons and bubbles. All right So this one here is wishful watermelon. Ooh, okay I was hoping this would have like a little bit of color to it But it does seem like it's gonna be very very light the applicator is really cute though a little heart there but I feel like this basically is just gonna be like a clear or sheer color and this is a moisturizing lip balm It says I spy no dry Ooh, Ooh watermelon Oh my gosh, it's thick. Get out of there. Like, it's not coming out. I do like the little avocator though. I 
it's cute. Oh my goodness, I couldn't even see it. All right, it came out. It's out. A very, very thick lip balm. Looks like it's gonna have like a sheer, like milky kind of pink look to it. But yeah, once you smear it on your hand, it's full of clear. It does smell really nice and watermelony though. So I like that. And then the heart one here, it just has like the tiniest hint. Like you can barely, it's like a wisp of pink. It also has that real nice, like fake watermelon scent. Oh, it smells so good. It's like watermelon and a little bit of plastic. Okay, I mean, this is really cute. I understand that they're going for like the love potion. That's kind of like a, you know, a spooky Halloween thing. But I feel, I feel like maybe they could have gone just a little bit harder, like with the theme. The last thing in here, one, is massive. And two, just from the title from what I saw, looks like it could be Halloween themed. But I was kind of hoping like the packaging and stuff would reflect it a little bit more. I've been seeing so many comments of people saying like, oh my gosh, are you going to get the P. Louise stuff for Halloween? It looks so cool. And I was like, yeah, I am. I get the box. But maybe that stuff doesn't come in the box. Maybe you got to buy that stuff like on your own. Um, so let's go ahead and look at the last item in here. It looks huge in the name. It's giving me hope. It's giving me hope that this is going to be very nicely Halloween themed. It is. <laughs> okay. Well, yeah, they did. They did make it very spooky. They made it extra spooky because it's covered in spiders. I hate spiders. I hate um, the actual physical, like little, little creatures themselves. Any type of like representation, artwork, any like plastic that's been formed into the shape of a spider, spider costume, uh, anything that's spider, I, I'm not a fan. I don't know if you guys remembered me. Oh goodness. You get in this little cauldron here, this little cauldron bath bomb out of that Etsy Halloween advent calendar. Well, if you, you remember that, uh, then you might remember that there was a plastic spider in it. And I reached over it yesterday to get something and I looked down and saw that little daggone plastic plastic spider. Thought it was real, had a panic attack. And because I truly and honestly cannot do spiders whatsoever, um, I had my husband remove remove it from the bath bomb because I personally couldn't do it myself. Anywho, let's go ahead and get on into this, this very spooky box. Thank you for doing spooky things. This is the Book of Spells Hocus Pocus Regain Focus. Ooh, palette for eyes and face and it's massive. I'm so excited to see what the actual packaging looks like. <laughs> covered in spiders. Oh, it is. It's just the same packaging as this. Oh, but it's so cute. Oh my goodness, look at the little lock. <gasps> it actually comes with a little lock. A little tiny skeleton key to open it. That is precious. Man, this is truly adorable. It looks like a little book. It locks. <laughs> I just hate that it's covered in spiders. But it's absolutely adorable. So I'm very excited about this. The side here has some type of little, I don't know, chant on it. It says, Hocus Pocus, Regain Focus. Sometimes razor edge words come from those who lurk closest. All right, I'm gonna try the key here on the little lock. Oh, it actually opens. That's so much fun. I love that, like an interactive makeup palette. That's great. Oh, okay. These colors are definitely what I was picturing when I was thinking about like a Halloween inspired palette. We got the purples. We got the greens. There's not any orange, but that's okay. And there is a black. So, so it definitely feels very on theme. There's some beautiful shades in there. That Hocus Pocus shade up there is gorgeous. So it definitely feels very on theme. I do wish there were some oranges in here just because it's such like a quintessential Halloween color. But the colors in here are really fun. These two right here are beautiful. That Bewitch shade. All the shimmer shades are always gorgeous. I like that the names are very on theme too. <laughs> First one is Let's Get Freaky. We have Bewitched, Sixth Sense, Coffin, Haunting Hour, Don't Ghost Me, Focus Pocus, Dragon's Blood, I Dare You, Bubble Up, I'm Dead, Death's Door, In the Shadows, Haunted Huns. I'm not quite sure what a hun is besides like Attila and then like the Hey Boss Babe. All those names are really fun. I actually really like this kind of mustardy shade down there at the bottom. There are definitely a good amount of purple shades in here. So if we're wanting to do like a test Yzma look, we could do it now. We could do it. Uh, I will say, based on like the thickness and the heftiness of this book, like this really feels like you could, you know, um, don't use it as a weapon, but like if you were in a pinch, it could give somebody a nice little like thud. I was hoping or expecting there to be maybe more shadows in here, maybe like a double layered thing. I have missed it before though. I have missed like another layer of an eyeshadow palette before from P. Louise, so I'm just gonna... <gasps> what kind of noises those were, but I'm so glad I checked. There's a whole other side to this book with orange in it. My goodness. Hey Louise, you're just so sneaky. Look at these beautiful shades. I love this side as well. These are definitely more like up my alley. They're so pretty. I love the reds and the oranges and the yellows. A little bit of pink in there and some darker kind of plummy tones. These are gorgeous and I think these two sides together are just, they scream Halloween. Speaking of scream, I watched the movie for the very first time the other night. I can't believe I've never seen it before. It's such 
such like a, a horror classic. It was great though. I watched it with a whole bunch of friends and it was, it was a good time. Oh my gosh, these shades are just so pretty. I love these. These names are so much fun and all the little pans have like something pressed into it. I'll show you guys the other side as well. But they all have like cute little, oopsies. They all have cute like little impressions that match up with each name, which I think is so cute. I love the attention to detail. And then this side has the same thing, just cute little imprints into each of the pans. That's just so adorable. Okay, I absolutely love this. I think this is potentially my favorite thing we've ever received in a Pete Louise box. This is so cute. I mean, I'm getting over the spiders now. At first I was like trying to move my fingers to where they didn't touch the spiders. But now uh, this is just so adorable that I don't even really care about the little creepy crawlies on the outside. I do think just in the spirit of Halloween, maybe we'll do like a really bold kind of purple look and then I'll like chisel out my jaws and like try to make myself a little easily. I don't know. We're definitely gonna go for like a glam Yzma. Not saying that Yzma wasn't glam to begin with. She's always been a glam gal. But I feel like I don't really have her features to be able to pull off like a very realistic Yzma. So we're just gonna go, we're gonna go glam. And then I'm gonna put some feathers around my neck and on my head. Not right now though. I don't currently have the feathers. Just so cute. Just so precious. I'm, I'm, I'm in love with this. I think this is so cute. <laughs> but I do really now wish that the other two things like actually were in theme. I would have loved to have seen this theme carried across the other items as well. Maybe like a cool like black lipstick or something fun like that or like a really deep purple deep red maybe like a fun like this is kind of iridescent on the outside a fun kind of green pink iridescent highlight just something more interesting and unique to go along with this to really like make the theme for the season but i'm just i'm so glad we got this also ren is very heavily snoring <laughs> so if you hear some like somebody saw on logs outside we don't live near like a lumber yard it's just I don't know why his eyes twitching. <laughs> uh, I'm just gonna go ahead and do the rest of my face because there, there's nothing in here, honestly, that I feel like I need to try on besides this. So I'm gonna do the rest of my face and then I'll be back and we'll do something. We'll put something on my eyes. Will it be in person of group inspired? I don't know. <laughs> It'll just be a regular makeup look, maybe. We'll, we'll see where like the, the spooky spirit takes us. Okay, well, I'm already back. <laughs> How do I forget every single time that like when I'm doing a big bold eye, I need to do my eyes first and not my face. So now I'm back with like a like a beard of foundation and we're, we're gonna do the eyes first because that's what you do. <laughs> I do however need stuff to cover up these eyelids or maybe not, I don't know. I feel like Eason's probably got a good amount of like purple veins going on. So what I'm thinking here is basically just a big bold purple eye look, something that would be a little bit more dramatic than I standardly would do. And then I'm gonna do some big lashes I don't really, these are the biggest I can find currently. That's a little bit of a lie. These are the closest to me and they look kind of big. So I feel like that's what we're gonna be using today. They say these are naked lashes. So they're probably not gonna be nearly as dramatic as I'll need for the actual costume. But um, yeah, I guess we're gonna try to do somewhat of an easel look today. So let's, let's do it. All right, so we have all of our purples on this side here. There are a couple of like really deep plummy colors, but I feel like those might not go so well with the look. So I don't necessarily like know precisely how to do a cut crease. I feel like that's information that I once had and then lost. Kind of like how we don't know how to go to the moon anymore. Sometime between like 2016 and 18, that information just left my brain. Uh, but I'm going to start here with just some purple. I am going to go pretty heavy handed with all of this, eh, but I am also just now remembering that I do have so many other videos to film today, so this should be good. I do want to bring in kind of elements from Yzma's makeup, so I'm going to go kind of rounded with this. Right now, I'm using the shade The Hunting Hour. The shade, especially for being a purple, is going on really nicely. It's very pigmented. It's not patchy. I really like it. All right, now I think I'm actually gonna take this sponge and just kind of tap this back onto my lid so I could do a deeper purple on the lid. So for Jeremy's costume, we're gonna do, of course, like the full cronk costume, but I'm also gonna make him spinach puffs so he can surf them at the party. I'm so excited. We haven't done like a real Halloween costume in so long. Uh, it, our Halloweens have been fun though. We've gotten matching PJs, a whole lot of junk food and candy. We've sat on the couch and watched spooky movies, which honestly is like an ideal Halloween for me. Uh, I'm sure we'll be doing that on like the actual Halloween day. All right, we have this shade purple and this shade. I feel like this one is a little bit more plummy undertone and Yzma reads very like cool tone purple to me. So I think I'm gonna go with this one up here. This is the shade Coffin. All right, I'm gonna concentrate this darker purple also kind of in a rounded shape on my lid. This also is not at all a cut crease. I just, I got nervous and didn't do it. <laughs> so this is what we're doing now. I was really wanting a purple glitter, but unfortunately all the glitters in this are either too pink or too blue or too white. But this like really pale one, I feel I feel like it's just gonna take away from the purple. I think it's a little bit of a try. Maybe if it's just like lightly kind of stamped over, it won't take away from the color underneath. That's not too terrible. Mm. I don't know. I feel like it does kind of wash out the color a little bit. Dag on it. Dag on it. <laughs> That's what I was trying to say. Hmm. How can I save this? I don't know why, but I did grab a fluffy sock just then to wipe off the purple instead of my makeup wipe. 
Why was the fluffy sock even on the table? I, <laughs> I have this and it shows up really purpley, but it's also like a duochrome kind of thing or like an iridescent thing. So it does shift in the light and I kind of wish it was just solid purple. Mm -hmm. I don't know what to do. Okay, interesting. All right, so I kind of just discovered if I put this on and then I dab purple over top of it, it still somehow it looks kind of shiny from underneath, but it shows up more purple and kind of takes away from those like color shifting tones. So I might just, is this crazy just to put this all over my lid? Oh, not because it's happening. I mean, it's showing up really purpley to me, but there definitely is like a green gold, almost kind of red shift to it. So I really want it to be just like super, super purple. Okay, that's definitely a more intense purple look. And the only reason I'm doing this now, like if I do the actual Isma costume, I can get like a purple glitter, but this just does not have a glitter in it that was purple enough to match like the fully purple look. So uh, for now, we're just doing a little bit of this. However, now I'm wondering because Isma's purple is so like cool tone, maybe if I did put on a little bit of this kind of blue-ish looking glitter just a over the top of it. There should be so many layers on my eyes. But it might just bring a little bit more of that coolness to it. Ooh, that's a fun shade. I don't know, you guys. I definitely got to do some more experimenting with this Yzma makeup to get it to be Yzma-ish. But I feel like with the rest of the costume, it could be okay. So uh, I'm gonna work on this one over here, kind of do the same thing I did on this side and then went back to work on some more stuff. Sorry, I forgot to zoom you guys in. So I added some like extra like liner to the look to try to give it a little bit more drama. I have put on foundation and uh, I think I've either stained my under eye or scratched it. I don't know. Uh... So I'm just adding a little bit of purple shadow under the under eye to give, you know, a little bit of that Yzma, um, extreme under eye bag look without actually having to give myself under eye bags because I still would like to look halfway nice. What is that? <laughs> what did I do? I'll see if I can wipe it off and just put the makeup back on. No, I think I scratched myself. <laughs> Hopefully I can cover that back up. <laughs> I don't think I'm gonna be able to cover that up. I don't know what, what I've done to myself, but I've done something. Okay, so there is that. What I thought we could do for the eyebrows because Yzma has very um <laughs> 90s high arch plucked eyebrows. I figure we could just use a little bit of eyeliner and just kind of... <laughs> I have so much stuff to do after this. And just kind of like use my natural brow shape, but not uh, make it look natural whatsoever. You're definitely not as thin and arched as Yzma's, but like I feel like this is probably the closest I can get without either having to like glue my eyebrows down or cover them with foundation. Now they definitely could use a little tweezing around because my goodness. Oh, I like this one better. This one's not nearly as thick. I wonder if I could take away some thickness on this one. Okay, man, this is a really bad idea. It's probably a very bad idea to pluck my eyebrows while I'm doing this. <laughs> Oh, I feel like this is going awry. Okay, <laughs> so uh, let's just go ahead and move on to like the base of the face now. And I do think I want to try to chisel out some cheeks and that kind of thing. There's this dragon's blood shade in here, which is like a really deep kind of plummy purple. I might go for that. really wish I had a larger brush for this right now. <laughs> I'm just going over all like the places that I have bronze or contour just with like a purpley shade instead. That's probably not what y'all signed up for when you clicked on this P. Louise unboxing. I'm adding a little bit of black just right here to where like the hollows would be. I'm trying to give it a bit more of that shadow. This is the first time I've ever done Halloween makeup on my channel. Oh my gosh, look like Eddie Munster. <laughs> Like I have some extreme sideburns. I'm kind of thinking for like highlight, I might go for that kind of shimmery shade. It's more of like a glitter, but it has like a lilac shade to it, which might give me more of the appearance of having that like purple toned skin. Oh gosh, I almost forgot about contouring the nose. Definitely have to contour the nose. My nose looks spooky. I put just like a tiny bit of black at the bottom just to make it look a little bit more upturned. Okay, I'm gonna put on some lashes and then like a pinky red lip and then I'll be right back. <laughs> okay, <laughs> I think I have all of the finishing touches on for uh, our kind of sort of a little bit Asian-ish look. I definitely feel like I need bigger eyelashes and I might do like little like things that stick up off of them. I had to literally pull these like out to here to make them look dramatic whatsoever. So they're like stuck like a half an inch away from my actual end of my eye. And then I just filled them in with eyeliner a little bit to try to make it look like they weren't like dangling off the side of my head. Went with a bit of a darker lip than I was originally intending and I just kind of touched up a little bit more around the face. Tried to like carve out my my throat <laughs> a little bit. But yeah, okay, so this is just the test run. This isn't maybe the most Yzma look ever, but if you kind of like pictured like this part of my hair back with like a feather sticking out of it and like a little like feathers coming out of my neck, purple feathers, <laughs> and then a black dress, and then my six foot three husband following me around with like a thing of spinach puffs. Yzma and Kronk. <laughs> I definitely wanted to go a little bit more glam Yzma. I mean, I could have gone like 
full like lines under the eyes and like the wrinkles, maybe stuff from like broccoli in my teeth. Uh, this is kind of what I'm thinking. Something like this just to give like the essence of Yzma. And then hopefully in the costume, we'll just bring it all together. So uh, let me know what you guys think. <laughs> all right, you guys, that was everything in this P. Louise box. I really love this palette. I think it's so cute. The colors work really nicely in it. Even working with purples, they weren't patchy or anything whatsoever. Um, I think this is adorable. I just wish like this matched the rest or the rest matched this. I would have loved to have seen it like a full spooky season themed P. Louise box, but we got this awesome palette, so I I'm pretty happy. Uh, let me know what you guys thought about this box, the makeup look, everything you want to down below in the comments. I love reading and responding to them. Please go ahead and have a wonderful, lovely, fantastic day. And also please consider subscribing if you're not mine. I mean, the absolute world to me. I just hope you guys have a lovely, wonderful, fantastic day and I'll see y'all next time. Bye.